There are two things that you need to find recovery. One is a spiritual path. Two, a community to support that path. People who are on the verge of getting sober are scared and are doing everything they can to keep up the illusion that their life is going okay. Or even if they don't think their life is going okay, they can't stomach the idea of changing and embracing a new set of rules in life, which is essentially what recovery is. Their denial has to be broken. The denial is, it's okay for me to live like this. Actually, it's not okay for them to live like that, but their denial tells them that it is. That denial has to be broken. Denial is the constant vigilance to not know what you know. It takes a lot of energy. It's difficult to keep up denial. Once it's broken though, once a person is willing to step forward and embrace even the most beginning principles of recovery, a door swings open and possibility and hope exists right there. If this person is left to their own devices over a period of hours or, or days, it is extremely likely that they will revert back to the behavior that brought them to this place in the first place. In other words, they'll continue in their addictive ways. That's why in early recovery in particular, you need a community of people who are also interested in the same thing you are, which is recovery, to support you. Because if you don't have that, and you go back home, and you close that door, and the world's outside, and here you are with your mind, your addictive mind, inside, the chances are very great that you'll revert back or relapse back into old behaviors. Recovery happens when one day at a time, a group of people lift each other up to move beyond the crisis, to move beyond that, the acute nature of addiction. I've never known anybody to do it on their own. I've only ever seen it as a collaborative process. The deep well of yoga and Kundalini yoga in particular brought me to a place in my life that I hadn't known was possible. And that was to live beyond the energy of addiction. I had never understood that you could actually overcome addiction. My understanding had always been what I had been taught was once an addict, always an addict. Don't get me wrong. I still experience addictive thinking. I still experience the energy of addiction at points and times in my life. What I have though is a set of tools, an amazing toolbox for addressing whatever the issues are in my life as they come up. I have the program of the 12 steps and the fellowship and the incredible community there. I also have the path of yoga and the incredible community there. Those things together, 12 steps, yoga, meditation, have given me a combination of ingredients powerful enough to go toe to toe with any addiction. And so with great passion, I pass that along through the Recovery 2.0 series through videos, through books, through speaking to anybody that I possibly can. And that includes people who practice yoga who may not be in recovery. And that includes people who are in recovery who may not practice yoga. Those two worlds coming together, there's something really powerful and alchemical about that.